guys, I'm making this video as a sort of PSA to put on your radar a really great show that I'm watching on HBO. It's Chernobyl. It's it's basically chronicling what happened uh, in the 80s in the Soviet Ukraine when that horrible nuclear accident occurred. And you know, everybody remembers when that happened. I remembered when that happened. I was, I was a little girl when that happened. I didn't know what happened to cause it, what was the process, how people were truly affected. Uh, it was a paragraph in my school textbook and then I, I sort of grew up and we all, we all went about our days. And I'm just being really honest with you. However, it was so impactful for, for that area and as I aged, um, you know, I live close to nuclear plants. I live in New York. A danger to everyone, if you really think about it. Wherever you are, you're probably living near something that can cause this type of issue. Now, of course, in 2018, there's different security measures and all of that. But this was a story that I was very interested in hearing about because I was so young when it happened, I couldn't have possibly processed what happened. Uh, back then. So I started watching the series and the way it opens up is, um, I guess he's a reporter. I really don't know yet. I haven't really, they haven't really unraveled the whole thing, but he tells you that there's, there was a man that was on duty that day that was so hard headed and he was so in denial about what was going on in the power plant that his hard headedness essentially caused uh, furthered the death count, furthered the, the problems, furthered all the issues because he wouldn't accept what was going on. And then what happens is you flash back to the beginning of the night of the explosion and you see through, I guess, people who, who made it out through their, their records and their conversations about what happened, you see it unfold. And it's awful. And, and, and the way that it happens is it, it's small moments that, that, that enveloped and snowballed into an, a, an atrocity. And it's really well done. And so I wanna encourage everybody to watch this series because um, I'm not a huge history buff. I wouldn't say that I'm a documentary watcher. I'm not like that. But this is something that totally drew me in because like I said, it, it's this is a world event. This is not something that happened in a little town, um, in a little country that doesn't matter. I, this is a world event. The channel is really focused on action, horror, and thriller. That's really where I am. That's where my heart normally lies. But this is so important. I, I just feel like I had to throw it in there for you guys because I am so, um, caught up in this in this this real story of our our lives this is our lives too even though it didn't happen to us it happened to humanity i just feel like we all have to watch it because it's so crazy it's so crazy what happened to these poor people i mean the firemen they were telling the firemen go go in go in and put, put the fire out and they were putting them into this radioactive core. They were throwing, because they, because they, they were lying and saying that it, they, they, the, the main people were, were denying that it blew up. And so they were saying, no, no, go in, just turn, take the fire out, throw the fire out. And so all these poor firemen were walking into this radioactive core thinking it was just a fire. And it was like little moments like that, people, people at a bridge watching this explosion and they were thinking it was so beautiful because there were all these colors in the air. Now think about that. If something happened in your area and 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 remind as a reminder, they wouldn't put out an emergency. They wouldn't say evacuate because they didn't want to admit that this horror had happened because if this happened, then they would have to also admit that they just killed a million people. So they kept denying it. No, 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 it didn't blow up. It didn't blow up. There's just a pipe that burst. It didn't blow up. And so because of that, this beautiful light is going in the sky and everybody's outside with their carriages and they're looking at the light. Now think about that in New York, if something like that happened and there's this big blue light and we don't get an alert, wouldn't you go outside with your kids to be like, what is that? What is that light? Oh my gosh, what's that light? And that's the miscommunication. As soon as that stopped, as soon as the stopped, they stopped communicating down what was happening, it just caused so many issues and they're still affected by these issues today. So, I mean, wow. I mean, yeah, we're talking, I love horror, but you wanna talk about real life horror? That is real life horror. That is such a travesty what happened to those poor people. 
And um, as far as the way that the story is told, I think it's being told amazingly. So please give it a shot. It's on HBO. I would not steer you wrong. Um, it's Chernobyl. And like I said, it's not a binge and watch type of show. So I'm only up to episode two. You're not, you're not, it's not hard to catch up on. So please give it a shot. And until next time.